Okay, wonderful guys. Let's start as we usually do. So wake up series, focusing on breath of fire and focusing on purification. In fact, I told you I'd teach you breath of fire close to the screen. So if you're unfamiliar with breath of fire, it's a purifying breath. It's a rapid breath where we're pumping the navel and the breath comes in and out of the nose, okay? So please don't worry if this is challenging for you, if you haven't done it before, or if it's challenging for you in general. You can always switch it up and do just a natural long deep breath instead, or a natural breath. And eventually you'll start to work with breath of fire and that's cool. One, Jackie. Okay, breath of fire. Sorry. Let's ignore the breath to start with and just think about engaging abdominals and releasing. Engage, release. Engage, release. Engage, release. And then we're going to start to add a breath. So it looks like this. So as the belly comes in, the breath comes out the nose. And as the belly relaxes, you take that in breath. So it looks like this. Some people might find it a little bit easy to do it through the teeth. So you just sort of clamp the teeth together and go shh, 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 shh. Okay, belly in, breath out. And there's a, it's quite rapid, okay? Or eventually it's quite rapid. And some people find it easy to do it almost like panting like a dog to start with. So it looks like this. Okay, cool. Let's go for it, guys. Wake up, focusing on every little individual posture as a meditation. Okay, come to a comfortable seated position to start with. Lovely, so you're sitting either in Sukhasana, easy pose, you might sit on a cushion, you might sit on a chair, it doesn't matter. Let's just think about lifting and lengthening through the spine to start with. So just lift and lengthen through the spine, lift your sternum, your chest bone, slot your shoulder blades down the back, your elbows into the side ribs. And we're basically just taking this position so that we can tune in and then we're actually coming straight to the floor. Okay, so if you're not used to a Kundalini Yoga practice, we tune in with the Adi Mantra, Om Namo Guru Dev Namo, and we say it three times. And this is basically bringing us to the practice space and allowing us to just be guided by our own intuition throughout the practice. Okay, so... Closing the eyes down, connecting to the awareness of the breath. Allowing the breath to trickle in right into the abdominals. So as you inhale, the abdominals expand and open and relax. And as you exhale, lightly drawing back in again. So we're not firming up the belly, we're giving the belly some breath. And just focus on the stillness, focus on erecting the spine because obviously you've been sleeping and we want to get this space now in the body. So we're lifting, we're opening, we're starting to concentrate on the breath. And just finding a little bit of relaxation so when you exhale you're trying to relax something any tight tense areas use that breath to soften that 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 tightness and just becoming completely aware of the body the surroundings, what you feel like this morning. And 
Lovely. When you're ready, pop the hands together. So you're bringing the hands in front of the heart space. Press the palms together. Spread the fingertips. And we'll tune in with the Adi Mantra. So before we start, just taking an inhale through the nose. A deep in-breath. And then exhale. And then on the next inhale, we'll start with the Adi Mantra. So this time, big breath through the nose. Aum Namo Guru Dev Namo Two more rounds, big in breath. Aum Namo Guru Dev Namo Last round, inhale. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Lovely work, guys. Pop the hands to the knees, Gyan Mudra. So we've got index finger and thumb touch. Back of the palms to the knees. Come back to your natural breath. And open your eyes. Cool. Okay, so before we start the first exercise, we're going to lie down on the back. If you've got your blanket and you want to use it, you can bring it underneath the body now, right on top of the mat. And this is just for when we're coming to sort of like a rocking pose on the spine. So lie completely flat on the back. And first of all, before we start, we're just going to take some sort of light stretches. So you might just raise the arms above the head. And sort of spread the fingertips, spread the toes. Maybe taking some sort of big circles with the feet, big circles with the wrists, both directions. And then stretch. Stretch the toes, flex the feet, move the hands and feet a little bit. We might take a little side bend, so just sort of taking hold of the left wrist with the right hand and stretching to the right. So find sort of like a lateral bend. And then opposite side, nice big stretch. Take hold of the right wrist with the left hand, stretch. And then reach up again to the centre. So you're just sort of stretching, elongated, full axial extension of the body. And relax for a moment, just bringing the hands to the side of the hips, just taking a moment. Okay, cool guys, we're working with stretch pose to start with, with breath of fire. It's challenging. We're going to go for two minutes. If it's too much, just keep coming in and out of it, okay? So this is what it looks like. Lift your legs up, lift your arms up, palms in, breath of fire. This is challenging when that when the belly is already engaged. So just start to think about, do you want to work with breath of fire? Do you want to work with long, slow, deep breath? Do you want to just give both a little go? Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, let's go. I'm setting timer. Lift the legs up, lift the head up. Two minutes, breath of fire. So you'll notice that you can't quite pump the navel like you'd like to with breath of fire because obviously you're already engaging the belly. So it's more focused on the breath coming in and out of the nose. Lift legs up, lift arms up, lift head up. Breath of fire, start to purify awake in the body. Focus to the big toes or close the eyes down. It's not easy. If you need a little rest, bring those knees in or rest the head down and come back to it, okay? Really drawing that belly in, breath of fire coming in and out the nose, or long, slow, deep breath. Lovely mind over matter. You can do it. Lovely. 
little rests, but come back to it. Nice work, everybody. Lifting legs, lifting arms. If you've rested 30 seconds left, breath of fire. Lovely, firm up the legs. If it feels too much, again, give yourself a little rest. We've just got 20 seconds left, if that. Okay, I'm just showing you ways to rest. Not that I want to rest myself. <laughs> okay, go, seven seconds. Try your best. Pump the navel. Lovely, keep the body where it is. Inhale. Squeeze muller band, the sex organs, toilet muscles. So bum, we lower belly. Hold. Squeeze. Release. Relax. Woo. And just lie flat for a moment. Okay, so you're lying in traditional corpse pose. Start to draw the breath back into the belly. So you're releasing the belly muscles. Real strong pose to start with. Sorry. Starting to work with the navel point, digestion, getting the body moving for the morning, working with the two main nadis that run up the side of the navel point, two main energy channels. Notice the mini effects of the posture, so there's some maybe a light awakening of the nervous system. The belly might feel <laughs> a little bit fiery. Ace. Okay, next pose. Draw the knees into the chest, hug around the shins. So you might want to hug as tight as you possibly can. Okay, maybe clamping opposite elbow, opposite hand, drawing the nose up towards the knees. Okay, if this is too much, just come to it as far as you can. Yeah, as far as you can. Breath of fire. Okay, so again, drawing belly in to the spine. Pumping belly to spine as the breath comes in and out of the nose. Or long, slow, deep breath, focusing on the little ball. Close your eyes and start. Guys, okay, I'm gonna set the timer again. Breath of fire, two minutes. Good job. Okay, I want you to sort of gaze. So you're in this little position, you can start breath of fire. Gaze as if you're sort of looking towards the forehead. Yeah, so brow point in between the, the eyes up towards the forehead. And let's go, breath of fire. Lovely work, everybody. You will feel this around the neck muscles, which is strengthening the belly muscles. Yeah, it can be a little bit awkward. Try and move past that discomfort. Pumping the navel as the breath comes in and out of the nose. If it's too much, you can use a long, deep breathing. Keep gazing to the forehead, eyes are closed, gaze to the forehead. Really nice work, everybody. This is strengthening the whole of the body, the whole of the nervous system. Agni tap for the fire element in the body, helping us to aid digestion and using food as energy. 17 seconds. Lovely, and take a big inhale through the nose. Hold the breath. Apply Muller Banda, sex organs, toilet muscles. It's like the pelvic floor muscles if you're not used to the practice. Bum muscles, wee muscles, lower belly. Hold, squeeze, 
Hold breath, squeeze. And relax. Woof. Some people might need to take hold of the head to lower that head back down again. Just find a traditional corpse pose. Lie flat, breathe into the belly. It's a really purifying set. It's starting to work on a cellular level, cellular level, breath and movement. Eyes are closed. Focus on the sort of stilling effect after each exercise. So you're really drawing all of your energy towards the sort of present moment, the movement, the physical movement, the breath. Okay, from here, next position, we're going to bring the knees back into the belly, okay, and we're taking little rocks up, so this is why we've got the blanket, we're rocking on the spine for one minute. Now, eventually, it's going to look like this, rocking up, rocking back, rocking up, rocking back, yeah, this is really fabulous for starting to actually spread the energy that you've created in the navel all the way around the body. Okay, so it's really energising, starting to bring that energy to all the cells, tissues, organs. If this is too much, yeah, you might just take mini rolls on the floor and just try your best, okay? Let's go. One minute. Keep moving to the best of your ability. Don't hurt yourself, okay? Inhale back, exhale up. Inhale back. Exhale up. It's a quite a nice sort of joyful movement. I could do this all day, I think. Lovely spread in the energy, waking the body. Fab. Getting into all of that sort of stagnant myofascia in the back, around the spine. You might be taking mini rolls. Just trying your best. 20 seconds, let's go. I want to stop talking. Inhale back. Lovely. And rock yourself all the way up and come into a comfortable seated position, whatever suits you, so it might be cross-legged position, cushion, chair, just keep the spine nice and straight. Close your eyes down, everybody. So you've done nothing to hurt your back as long as you are being mindful and choosing the roles that suit you. Okay, meditate inwardly for a moment, so eyes are closed, feel that sort of release of energy that you're creating through the body. Drawing the breath into the navel point, so all the way down there into the belly, so just releasing the belly a little bit for a moment. Cool. Okay, finally, one of my favourite kundalini poses, we're going to work with ego eradicator. Thumb represents the ego. Okay, helping us to come back to our true, authentic nature. Let's go. So it's going to be breath of fire, obviously. <laughs> Short, sharp pumps of the navel as the breath comes in and out of the nose. And if it's too much, long, slow, deep breath. Bring two thumbs and bring them to the sky as you draw the fingertips in towards the pad of the hand, okay? So thumbs aren't pointing towards one another, they're pointing up. We've got our arms at 60 degrees, elbows straight, yep, and our chin is slightly tucked. We're not flicking the head back, we don't want to crush the spine, so the chin is slightly tucked. Again, we're going to go with breath of fire, two minutes. So close your eyes down. And let's start the practice. I'm going to set the timer. Wonderful work, everybody. Let's go.
This is a really powerful posture. It helps with courage, willpower, discipline, <clears throat> creating that fire element. Arms at 60 degrees, keep stretching up, lengthening, opening, thumbs drawing to the ceiling, breath of fire. Lovely work, everybody. You can do it. Keep going. 30 seconds. Nice straight spine. Ignore the arm ache. Everybody's probably feeling it. Powerfully pumping the navel back into spine, purifying the breath through the nose. Okay, let's finish. Take a big inhale through the nose, really big deep inhale. Touch the thumbs above the head, hold, hold, squeeze muller bander, sex organs, toilet muscles. So you've got your bum muscles, wee muscles, lower belly, squeeze in and up. Hold breath, raise energy up, up through the spine. Squeeze it all to the centre line, raise it up, 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 visualise it coming up. Hold, squeeze. Spread the fingertips as wide as you can. Hold, squeeze. And then swoop the aura with the hands. Okay, exhale out the mouth. <sighs> Lovely, this is pushing darkness down and away and spreading the light through the top of the body. And then just bring the hands back to the knees. Maybe Gyan Mudra, so index finger and thumb touch. Close the eyes, notice the effects of the posture. Maybe feeling a bit of like expansiveness in the body, that's what Kundalini is about, expanding the mind, expanding the body. And just meditate inwardly for a moment. So I want you to meditate on the breath. Watching the breath, watching any subtle sensations of the body, any tingling, warming. Um, again, like I said, expansive feelings. And just keep concentrating on the breath coming in and out of the nose. Your spine is tall. And just stay in here for a couple more moments when the mind starts to wander, which it likes to just draw it back to this meditation position. It's nice to find a bit of stillness before you go off to that busy, overstimulated world. Just coming back to the sense of self. Kundalini Yoga is called the Yoga of Awareness because it's all about bringing self-awareness into the body and becoming aware of our body, aware of our thoughts, aware of any sensations. 
we can do this now, this is a good point to do it after you exercise, you'll feel things a little bit deeper. Feelings, emotions, sensations. And let's tune out with one long round of Satnam. Bringing the palms to touch at the centre of the heart space. Big deep inhale through the nose and we'll exhale for Sat. Okay, so big breath through the nose. Sat. Good morning, thank you for coming. Wonderful. Okay, so looks like we're pretty on time with that one. There you have it, the complete wake up series, purifying the body with breath of fire. Thank you.